Have you ever wished the yarns you use come in different colors than they do? I dye my own yarn in part because I can make virtually any color I want using synthetic dyes. What if you want to knit a beautiful graded shawl but none of the yarn lines come in quite the gradation you need? You could dye your own yarn for that project. Other projects such as tapestry or rug hooking often require particular hues and values for success. And if the yarn you're using doesn't come in those colors, you could dye it yourself. I've been dyeing my own yarn and fiber for almost two decades now. As an artist, it's important that I be able to make any color I need for my tapestries. I also enjoy coloring yarn and fiber for other fiber arts projects. Being a dyer also means you can dye just the amount of yarn you need for a project instead of having to buy full skeins of yarn even if you only need a little bit for an accent color. I've had a lot of students over the years ask me to teach my dye method, and dyeing with acid wool dyes is my answer to that request. In this online course, I'll show you what you need in terms of equipment and materials to dye your own fiber. I'll walk you through safety procedures and how to prepare your yarn or fiber for dyeing. My method of dyeing creates colors you can replicate. It's based on math and formulas, and that means that not only can you predict what color you'll be making, you can make the same colors again when you use up what you have. The math is very simple and I demonstrate how to do it several times. In the course, I take you through a complete dye run where I'm making a set of teal yarn for tapestry. You'll get all the tips I've learned over the last two decades for how to make evenly dyed yarn, how to make the dye process as efficient as possible, and how to troubleshoot problems. It won't be long before you're making the colors you've wished you had. It feels a little like magic when you pull those skeins out of the dye pot. The class has anytime access and you can use it as long as you want to. You get support from me right in the class platform. So if you get stuck or have questions, I can help you figure out what to try next. Dyeing is so much fun. If you'd like to dye your own protein fibers with synthetic dyes, join me for dyeing with acid wool dyes. Registration is open at tapestryweaving.com. This class is for anyone who wants to dye protein fibers. It doesn't really matter what you want to use the yarn for.